everyone this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is equals to 1 by 4 into n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 for all n belongs to natural numbers Solution. Let the given statement be pure n. Then p of n such that one into two into three plus two into three into four plus so on, plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is equals to 1 by 4 into n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. Okay. So, firstly, we will prove for n equals to 1. We will show that the statement is true for n equals to 1 and and then we'll show we'll assume that the statement is true for n equals to k and finally we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 which means that first we will prove for n equals to 1 which means we'll prove that the statement is true for n equals to 1 for that we'll take only one term from the lhs okay when n equals to k we will take first k terms from LHS and in the RHS we will simply substitute k that is n equals to k and when n equals to k plus 1 we will take k plus 1 terms from LHS and we will prove for RHS. Okay. We have Pn such that or P of n such that 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 which is equals to 1 by 4 into n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. Okay. When n equals to 1. See here you are having first term, second term, so on, nth term, right? So here t1 is 1 into 2 into 3. t2 is 2 into 3 into 4. And we have Tn that is n term n into n plus 1 into n plus 2, right? Let's consider Tn term that is nth term. You're having n into n plus 1 into n plus 2, right? When you put n equals to 1, you'll get T1. That is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2, which is equals to 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2 into 1 plus 2 is 3. This is equals to 1 into 2 into 3. Which is the first term, right? Fine. So when n equals to 1, we get LHS 1 into 2 into 3, which is equals to 1, 2 is a 2, 2, 3 is a 6. And RHS. One by four into substitute n equals to one in RHS you will get one by four into one into one plus one into one plus two into one plus three. This is equals to one by four into one into one plus one is two into one plus two three into one plus three is four. Now you can cancel four and four. So this is equals to two into three is six. 
So here LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS, which means that the given statement is true for n equals to 1. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 1. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Okay. If you want, you can prove for n equals to 2. Let's see what happens when n equals to 2. We get LHS for n equals to 2 will take the sum of first two terms. Okay. Sum of first two terms. That is 1 into 2 into 3. That is T1 plus T2. I can say 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 which is equals to 1, 2 is a 2, 2, 3 is a 6, plus 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 4 is 24. So, this equals to 30, right? Now, we'll check for RHS. When n equals to 2, substitute n equals to 2 in RHS, you'll we'll get 1 by 4 into 2 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 2 into 2 plus 3, which is equals to 1 by 4 into 2 into 2 plus 1, 3 into 2 plus 2, 4 into 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we can cancel 4. So this is equals to 2, 3 is a 6 into 5. 6, 5 is 30. So LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS, which is nothing but the given statement is true for n equals to 2. Therefore, P of n is true. For n equals to 2, therefore p of 2 is true. Likewise, you can do for 3. When n equals to 3, you take the first 3 terms in RHS. Okay? To find the value of RHS, you will take the first 3 terms. That is 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5. Okay? If you want, you can check. And in the RHS, you'll simply substitute n equals to 3. Then you'll get 1 by 4 into 3 into 3 plus 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 plus 3. Definitely, you'll get LHS equals to RHS. Okay? Fine. Now, we'll assume for n equals to k. We'll assume that the statement is true for n equals to k. Assume that P of n is true for n equals to k. Then P of k equals to, sorry, P of k is such that 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on plus you're having n equals to k, right? Then you'll get k terms in the that is sum of first k terms in the LHS. k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 equals to in the RHS you will sum, simply substitute n equals to k. Then you will get 1 by 4 into k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3. Okay. Okay. So the statement is true. Now we can use this p of k to find the next, that is, to say that P of n is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay, now, we prove that the given statement is true for k plus 1. That is, n equals to k plus 1. Now, take k plus 1 terms. In the LHS, 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on plus kth term. K into K plus 1 into K plus 2 plus K plus 1th term. Simply substitute n equals to K plus 1 here. In the nth term, if you substitute K plus 1, that is n equals to K plus 1, then you'll get the kth term. K plus 1 into K plus 1 plus 1 into K plus 1 plus 
So this equals to, now you can replace this by P of K which is equals to 1 by 4 into K into K plus 1 into K plus 2 into K plus 3. Okay. The next term you will write, you can write it as K plus 1 into K plus 1 plus 1 that is K plus 2 into K plus 1 plus 2 is 3. So you are having K plus 1 in both the terms, K plus 2 in both the terms, K plus 3 in both the terms. So what we will do is, in the next step you can take all these 3, I mean all these 3 common from these 2 terms or you can take 1 by 4 also common. For that what you need is, You need to add 4 by 4 in the next step simply multiplying and dividing 4. Okay, 4 by 4 is 1, right? Nothing will change here. So now you can take 1 by 4, k plus 1, k plus 2 and k plus 3 common from these two terms. So this equals to 1 by 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 of k plus 4. So this equals to 1 by 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 3 into k plus 4, right? is equals to, you could write this as 1 by 4 into, in terms of n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 for n equals to k plus 1, okay? You'll write k plus 1 as it is. The next step you're having k plus 2, right? So you could write this as k plus 1 plus 1. So that you can consider k plus 1 as one number which belongs to natural numbers. So this is all n plus 1 form, right? For n equals to k, sorry, for n equals to k plus 1, you are having n plus 1 here, okay? Now, you can write this k plus 3 as, see here you are having n plus 2. So, you could write this as, you could write this 3 as 1 plus 2. So, that we will get the form, right? And k plus 4 as, here you are having n plus 3. So you could write this 4 as 1 plus 3. Okay. So this is of n plus 3 form for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. Simply we are splitting 2 to 1 plus 1, 3 to 1 plus 2, 4 to 1 plus 3. So now we can say that. The given statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, p of k plus 1 such that 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on plus k into k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus k plus 3 into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 2 is equals to 1 by 4 into k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 k plus 1 plus 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. So this completes the problem. Okay. So we have proved that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1.
Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Thus, P of 1 is true and we have proved for n equals to 2, right? So, let's include that also. P of 2 is true and P of k plus 1 is true when or whenever P of k is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, The given statement is true for all n that belongs to natural numbers. Okay. So we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.